So guys, Yami FZ09 are here. I'm here to show you guys. I went ahead and re-raced my drivers for my setup. I want to show you guys uh, exact footage, footage on how to get this done. So I figure I owe it to you guys. Uh, if you like this video, you like this setup, please, when you go to build it, I'd love to see your videos on how yours works. And uh, be sure to comment in there, you know. Yeah, you saw a little bit from here, but uh, go ahead and show you guys. So, it's a MacBook Air. This mine's got an Intel i7 dual core processor. I got a Zotac GTX 1060 sitting inside in the kitty -o box. Watch my other videos; it'll show you how to get this far. Got my power supply along with the Thunderbolt and my Molex to barrel plug, guys. You can buy those barrel plugs at Best Buy, and they come in the little box, little package. Watch the other videos, it'll show you. They work fantastic. So, I'm rolling with an EVGA 600 watt, because I think I might actually upgrade to a GTX 1070. I found a mini that fits in here from, uh, I believe it's Gigabyte or something, whatever that is. But, uh, all right guys, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do this boot up process in the raw. So guys, we're back. I'm going to turn it on. Heard the chime, hold down option. I'm going to wait for this to pop up. Macintosh and Windows, guys. If you don't have this on yours, download Boot Camp. Just look it up. It's really easy to do. Select your Windows. The moment the Windows insignia pops up, you need to hit the power supply button right here. So, I'm gonna see if I can do this. Power supply on. Guys, I haven't had much of a problem starting this thing and getting it up and running. So, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this right now. Go to settings. Device manager. You're gonna go down here, device manager. And this is what you should see. Go to your display adapters. And I think I turned it on too late. So that was fail. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that again for you guys. I'll get it right back to here. So guys, don't do what my dumbass did and forget to plug in the uh, Thunderbolt cable. So once you get to this setup, you'll see this right here. This is what happens when you don't have the drivers. So, you click on here. It says it's the free resources that it can use. Disable one of the other devices and you restart your computer. Blah, blah, blah. Just go to drivers, driver details. Go to cancel. Changes to take effect. Uh, go ahead and hit no on that. So we'll go back through here. We'll go to NVIDIA. Or go to the website. Type in www.nvidia.com. Go to the drivers, guys. And I'm going to try downloading the new drivers. And see if that works. And I'll get back to you guys on that. So guys, when uh, you go to download the NVIDIA GTX 1060 new drivers, you're going to be hit with this code. It says Windows has stopped this device because of reported problems. Code 43. So that's what you're going to get when you go to download the new drivers. So I'm going to show you guys right here what to do next to get this set up working. So what you're going to do next is you're going to hit uninstall. Delete the driver software for this device. Hit OK. It uninstalls it. And this is what you get. So what you guys do, you just go through it again. Come down here. You shut it down. Actually, you know what? No, you don't have to shut it down. You can actually download the, uh, the next set of drivers. And here's what I'm going to show you. This is the version... The new version that they ask of. This version is not going to work. 
So what you're going to do, is you're going to go back to drivers. You're going to go to GTX 1060, Windows 10, 64-bit. You're going to hit start search. Now here's how I got around this, guys. You're going to scroll down. You're going to go to version 372.54. You're going to download that, agree and download. It should pop up down here. You're going to hit save. And you're going to download that, guys. And I'll show you here in a little bit how to take care of that once this gets done. So, guys, once that file is done, hit run. It's going to pop up with this. You're going to hit yes. Okay. And it's going to start downloading that model of drivers for you. you look here, 372.54. That's the driver model you want. So you let it do its thing, and we'll go from there. So guys, after that, you're going to go ahead and shut everything down. You're going to get it back to here, and you're going to reboot into Windows. So we started back up. And what you'll see here is you go back through your menu, device manager, and this is what you'll see, guys video controller VGA compatible. Oh, now it's reading it, and it's going to tell me 12. You're going to have to restart, and then no. And we're going to go to that driver we downloaded, which was the 373 version. Yeah, let's see if I can find it in here. And we'll go to, if anything, just go to your downloads. And it was version 372.54. So you go into your downloads, go to that 64-bit. Go ahead and double click on it and run that program. And let it do its thing. All right guys, once that gets done, it's gonna head to a screen that looks like this. And it's gonna check it for you. And now all we gotta do is wait. Why it does the thing, it's going to tell you this. Go to agree and continue. Uh, Express, it's usually what they recommend. You can do either or, but I do custom just to see if there are files that I already have on here. See, current version. So, yes, I'm going to download all of this because I want what's what is on the 372.54 so I hit next and there we go it's going to download that I'll let you know where to go from there okay guys so the NVIDIA installer has installed that's version 372.54 which is the version you want and then you go to restart now now this is important when you hit restart now, go to your power supply. When you see that blue light blink, shut off your power supply. Hold down your option button. If you don't, it's not gonna it's not gonna boot up on you. You're gonna have a hard ass time trying to get back in here. So you go to Windows again. As you can see, everything is off. The moment you see that insignia, you hit the switch. Turn it all back on. Okay, guys. So, I hit the power switch, my power supply and everything, the moment I saw that insignia. This is with uh, driver version 372.54. So, it might take a little bit. Please wait. 
So let's check, see if it worked. A lot of waiting guys. So go down to the corner. We're gonna go to settings. Device manager. Go down here again. And you're gonna look at your display adapters. Look at that. No air codes or anything. It's showing that they're both being read. This device is working properly. That's how you fix that, guys. If you go to watch my other videos, downloading new drivers doesn't work. Just revert back to version 372.54, and it should get you to here. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and show you guys some bench. And you decide for yourself whether or not this setup is worth it. I think it's completely worth it, and uh, gives you the versatility of, you know, a carry-on, but with the power of a desktop. So without further ado, go ahead and benchmark some of these for you. So guys, the first game I'm going to benchmark for you, the Gears of War 4. Plays pretty smooth. Other than the lag I'm getting from connection. But I'll go ahead and show you uh specs. Go to options, video, show stats, you can do frames per second, back out, yes. And guys, this is on the external screen. Look here. You get better frames when you're running it on an external screen, because, but that's about what you average. Anywhere between 60 and 70. This is Gears of War 4, guys, on a MacBook Air. So, enjoy it. This is definitely worth it.